Welcome back to the Doing Time with Dan Studios. We're here for the book review segment. As you know, it's all about flying today, so I have a twofer for us. I have Rod Machado's Private Pilot Handbook, as well as the workbook that goes along with this volume. You see, I bought these to supplement my flight lessons as I was becoming a private pilot. You know, taking the FAA written exam is really a question of knowing that knowledge down pat, and these books proved really helpful for me. They also supplemented my syllabus at the flight school, and uh, which was very good, but I wanted to have more knowledge and more examples, and that's where Rod really comes in handy. You see, he's been a flight instructor since 1973, and you're getting a lot of knowledge from a guy with all that experience right here in this book. I think it's worth the cover price just for that. It is a beautiful book as well. It's got lots of color illustrations, real-world photographs, examples of charts, all those different things that you're going to encounter as part of your flight lessons. Now, maybe you are already a private pilot. This is a great book just to have around the house. Helps you brush up on your knowledge, reminds you about things that you might not be totally sure about. So you want to page through it from time to time. Maybe you're having a supper by yourself or you're just kicking back and nothing's on TV. You flip through here, read a couple pages. It'll really supplement your knowledge. Now back to those diagrams. We're going to do some close-ups here so that you can see them. For example, here he has, you know, the gravity feed of a high-wing fuel system. He says, oh, well, that sounds a little bit dull. But, you know, it's really important that you know how these things work. Because if you're up in the air, it's not like you can pull over and fix things with a wrench or two. So you want to check things out so you know exactly what you're doing. I found that very helpful, as well as the sections about airspace, weather, and VOR navigation. He explains wind shear and concepts like that in really bold examples. So as you're studying through this and you go to your flight lessons, you're going to be way ahead of the curve. Of course, you always want to coordinate with your flight instructor and your flight school so that you're on the same page. You don't want to be studying too far ahead or get behind. You want to tell them what you're up to because the goal is to become a safe and competent pilot. Now, when it comes to confidence, that's another thing that's very important when you're taking the test or actually flying the airplane. And the way to have confidence is to practice, practice, practice. And that's where the workbook comes in handy. There's questions here very similar to what you're going to encounter on the FAA written exam, as well as some more that I thought were actually more difficult than the FAA exam. So if you can do something that's a lot harder, well, the easy stuff, that'll be a breeze. And in here, he does have an FAA-approved syllabus for flight training ground school. Again, coordinate with your flight school and your flight instructor so that you're both on the same page. I also use this as a checklist so that as I was making progress in my flight lessons, I'd check this and make sure that I covered these concepts with my instructor. That way, I knew what I was getting done and the instructor knew that I was taking it very, very seriously. So there's only one thing that I didn't like about these books. Some of Rod's humor is a little bit over the top, a little bit hokey. It doesn't get distracting, but I just thought it was unnecessary. And that's the only reason why I consider these four out of five stars as opposed to five out of five stars. Still, for the experience that Rod incorporates in here, the illustrations, the examples, and just the overall good writing of it, I really think it's a high four out of five stars. Stay tuned here at Doing Time with Dan because we're going out to the airfield and we're going to do some flying today.